In this video, we're gonna be taking a quick look at the Topo Designs Mountain Duffel. Head over to packhacker.com for more information and the best buying options, link in the description below. So the, one of the first thing that caught our eyes about this bag is just the colorway that it's available in. So in typical Topo fashion, you've got these funky colors going on on the outside that really kind of ties it together. And then that kind of punch you in the face, green orange liner on the interior. And um, yeah, we just, that drew us to it. So we wanted to pick it up. And uh, we're working on our duffel guide right now at the time of shooting this video. So I figured we'd just do a quick hit, kind of explore the bag. And if we do do a full review, it will be over on packhacker.com. Um, so yeah, basically let's just kick it off here, starting with this front panel. Of course, we got a nice Topo Designs logo here. Um, this is in, um, uh, 2019 still I believe they might be changing this logo up a bit in 2020 um, so stay tuned for that but we have a nice kind of aqua guard zipper here yes this is a YKK number eight aqua guard zipper you can kind of tell by the shiny material um, and that opens up just a very simple pocket here in the front so we have that green big blue paracord here so it's easy to pull and then at this front area we have a daisy chain uh, thin pals like webbing at the top here so if you want to attach any additional accessories you can and uh, also makes it look kind of nice as well uh, let's just zip it up here real quick so we can just continue to focus on the exterior at the top here uh, the shape is this it's kind of like a square um, so that'll just kind of square out as you can see and uh, if you have fully loaded out it's kind of a square so some duffels will be cylindrical this one's like a square and more of like almost like a trapezoid actually because the the bottom is a little bit further out than the top the top here we have just some nice grabbable handles this is just like some nylon webbing there's seems to be a bit of padding on the interior as well it does feel nice in the hand not anything super padded or super crazy so that's there and then it looks like the other side we've got a mirrored pocket so it's kind of like deja vu no matter which side you flip this to which is interesting you got the topo logo twice just in case you have one facing in uh, towards your body <laughs> you know branding's always got to be there um, and then we this this duffel slings across each side so with that boxier shape I feel like that's going to be better um, you got the d-rings on opposite sides so just fasten that and dig this shoulder strap we have seen this in the travel bag i think the 40 liter travel bag is just like a little bit too big to carry in this style um, but this duffel definitely uh feels a little bit better i believe this is duraflex attachment points here i I've, I've seen this before it looks like it is um not entirely sure we'll list that over on the website uh, but there's a very nice kind of sliding padding here so i like that ability because just it's one it's long so you can definitely get this over your shoulder and then you just slide and adjust it quite easily you don't have to mess around with you know adjusting this every time if the padding is fixed you'd have to adjust this every time to get it properly um, on your back wherever you'd like definite plus there and this removable too so if you just want to carry it by the handles that's fine bottom area here you've got i believe looks like some kind of ballistic weave there's a slight bit of padding almost like a slight frame sheet feel um, you've got these handles down below if you just want to grab the bag and carry it around and then on um, these little lash loops here that you can attach accessories to or grab onto grab onto as you're you're opening the bag so I can grab onto this lash loop here and easily open the bag it's a nice little grip for me so that's why that's there if I flip this there's also velcro at the bottom and we can pull out our backpack straps And as you can see, that is a gatekeeper buckle. Let me try to undo this. It always takes me a while with these for some reason. Come on, little buddy. There you go. All right, and then you just attach that here, and that is good to go. So there you go. Uh, if you wanna wear a backpack style, that's great. We're always a little bit wary of hybrid uh, bags like this, but I think this one's kind of a duffel first, backpack second, so, the main use case would be like carry this as a duffel and that if you want to swap it over to backpack bone you definitely can you have a nice little d-ring there to attach any additional accessories i know that black on black might be a little hard to see and now let's just open the bag right up so i like the again the teal zipper pulls here 
Adds a nice touch. Let's get that backpack strap out of there. And then yeah, it's just, you know, just a giant kind of tub area on the interior here. You know, I like that they do that liner. It makes it really easy to see your gear. And then we have a nylon pocket here that's just kind of floats on the inside. Smaller YKK zipper that opens right up and allows you to kind of compartmentalize your gear on the interior. So there you have it. That is our quick look on the Topo Designs Mountain Duffel. Head over to packhacker.com for more information. If you want to see more in-depth reviews, make sure to check out our main YouTube channel too. We'll see you in the next video.